welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with another Diamond Art Club unboxing. Yes! Now, I believe I have unboxed this one on my channel before, but I couldn't find it, so I was like, whatever. Um, and then I tried to find it so I could link it in the video that you would have seen before this one. But again, I couldn't find it. And then when I went in my closet looking for it, um, when I purchased the one you would have saw before this one, which would have been the painting by Mandy Manzano called The Beast, I knew I had this kit, but I didn't know what happened to it. Well, apparently I must have given it away to one of my subscribers. And seeing as how I now have The Beast, I wanted to have the beauty to go with it. So I present to you The Beauty. Yes! And yes, I bought it again during Black Friday. So it is a 42 by 125 square with ABs. So we're going to go ahead and get into this kit. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh my gosh. So yeah, like I, ha I like having matching pairs. And when I noticed I didn't have this in my collection after I had bought the Beast, I had to rebuy it. So I'm okay with that because, you know, at some point I will get to it. But... I just went ahead and repurchased it because I want to make sure I have the set for whenever I do do them, I can do them together, which I believe Becky's Madness for Crafting is doing The Beast starting January 1st, I think. And then her daughter, Tiny Pufferfish, is going to be doing The Beauty. So we're going to get all the stuff out of the box here. There we go. And then, of course, we have our little sticker, and you guys know what we do with the little sticker. Little sticker. So we're going to take the little sticker and put it on the back of the box so that when I put it in the closet, I can find it again. There we go. Get that box out the way. It's a square tool kit, so you know what comes in there. A clear boat, two plates of wax, a pen, a squishy, two multi-placers, and uh, some tweezers. Be careful the tweezers. Make sure you keep the sheath on them. They will stab you. All right. And then we have our schematic. So here she is, the beauty. Yeah. And some people were finicking with her skin tone, and I believe at one point there was someone who had mentioned that her skin tone was messed up, where they made this yellow instead of her skin tone and there was some kind of edit or something if i can talk to diamond art club i'll see what that was all about but there was some kind of something you could have asked diamond art club for and they would have replaced it to fix her skin tone so there it is and it has 48 colors so let's take a look Ooh, 48 colors so we're going to go ahead and get into this kit and see what we got here again i don't remember when I unboxed this, I, re I remember unboxing it when it first came out, but I don't remember what I put it under, and at the time, I wasn't the best YouTuber, okay? I'm still not the best YouTuber, but I wasn't good at labeling things, <laughs> so I can't find it. <laughs> All right, so if you happen to see this unboxing again on my channel, um, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so let's get this rolled the other way, and just like the beast, she is a long one. She's not a wide one, she's a long one. So we're going to push those drills out the way there. Bam! Try to lay this blanket out over my bed. All right, here we go. The good thing about her is, though, one, I like the fact that, no, that looks like it's got corrected. It's two yellow arms now. I think at one point it was two, one white and one yellow arm, but that looks like the sleeves of her dress now. So that looks a little bit different than, I believe... The first one looked, if I remember correctly. Because if you can see, her skin tone around her neck area is a different color. And at one point, I believe one of these was the same color. So that looks like it might have been corrected. But as you can see, if you remember the movie Beauty and the Beast, uh, she had the magic mirror, and she got the magic mirror here, and she's looking through it. And of course, she of course has the rose. Yeah! So there is Belle in all her glory. Isn't she gorgeous, darlings? Isn't she gorgeous? So, 42 by 125 by Mandy Manzano, of course. And you can tell this is an older kit. Why? Because the name of Mandy and the Diamond Art Club thing is not at the bottom. No biggie. I ain't going to see that when I frame it anyway. But you can tell it's an older kit. So, there you have it. And we're going to get into these drills and see what they got to offer. And, of course, when we're done, we're going to look to see where the ABs go in this piece. So, let's get through this. If you're someone who doesn't like the crinkling of the noise of the plastic, please mute your phone for like 30 seconds. Or until you see me stop struggling. All right. So, let's go through some drills here. First string, what we got? 780. Please don't mind my nails. Again, I haven't done them. Technically, I'm off work. <laughs> 780, 300, we got some milk chocolate there, 782, 
Eh, eh, AB alert. Our first AB. Yes. Now, if you are new to Diamond Art Club or diamond painting in general and don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis is an iridescent coating that is put on top of the drills to make them sparkle just a little bit brighter. It will also reflect the light off the drills that are next to it to make them sparkle brighter as well because if one shines, we all shine, you heard? So that is what an AB is. And as you can see, you're seeing this in natural light to so look at that sparkle, good God. So yeah, so we will take a look at exactly where that goes at in the kit as soon as we're done going through all of these drills. So 141, keep that in mind as our first AB. 996, 3771, and somebody's not practicing social distancing, but look at the quality of those drills. 3771, isn't 3771 a brown? Am I, hold up, am I wrong? Isn't 3771 a brown? Okay, I'm gonna have to go look that up because I swear that 3771 was supposed to be brown. Y'all, y'all write that down. Hold on. Maybe I'm thinking of 3371. I don't know. 3771, 3844, and we have 743. Sorry, that looked like an AB as much as it was shining. Those little toothbrushes that they have shining these drills are, are seriously doing their job. 3755, 666. Yeah. And you know that's going to go in the road. 312, double trouble. 938, looks like dirt. 550. 948, that's going to be skin tone right there. 803. 8783. It's Mandy Manzano, so who would she be without her 310? So you're going to live the 310 life, so let's see if we can get the right way. 310 life. Let's see how many 310 bags we have. We have one. We got two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, three ten bags. Not bad, not bad. Thirty-eight, eleven. Five, eighteen. Nope, I lied. That's five, nineteen. Sorry, my eyes got a little blurry there just for a second. Seven, seventy-five. Three, thirty-six. And let's look at the quality. It's a dark color. Looks pretty good, Domino Club. I see you stepping up your game. Yeah. Nine, seventy-two. Three, twenty-two. Nine, thirty-nine. Double trouble there at 939. 823. 823. 3846. 3846. So double trouble there with 3846. I think this is our last string. I think. 3778. 321. 3845. 3756. 356. Eh, eh, AB alert. We got that sweet corn with extra butter. Yes. So our next AB is 130 and it has this iridescent coating on it. Oh my God, the sparkle. The sparkle, y'all. Y'all know y'all love that sparkle. So we got that sweet corn with extra butter. And I'm going to guess that's going to go all up in her dress, all up in her business. But we'll figure that out here in a few minutes. So let's get through this. We got scrambled eggs. Next one, 744. 3746, there's that last attachment. 327, 3770, 498, 891, 155, 718, 915, 728, 3607, 700, 745, where are you going? Look, you saw you saw it trying to get escape and it saw it saw us judging it and it's life choices and now it's trying to get back down into the bag. You seen it? Yeah, see, yeah, you better drop back down in there. You better be practicing social distancing. Eh, eh, A B alert 134. Our third A B in this kit. Again, if you want to know what A B is, scroll backwards. Don't skip through. I'll tell you what it is at the beginning when I show you the first A B. Anyways, 134 is our next A B. We got those sweet peas with the extra butter. 134. I don't know where in the world that goes. Maybe in the stem of the flower? Does that go up in there? Is that all up in that business? It gonna have to be. And again, look at that sparkle. Y'all ever think that y'all are at a fair when y'all come to my channel? Asking for a friend. Anyways, so 134 is our last and final AB in this kit. So we got three ABs in this kit. Good God. Again, ever since I said pride, 
didn't have enough ABs. I feel like Diamond Art Club has been sneaking into my house and adding extra ABs into all of these kits. Because every other kit has been smacking me in the face with ABs. Anybody else notice that? I'm just, again, asking for a friend. All right, so we're going to get these back. <laughs> we're going to get these back into the bag. All right, now that we got that back in the bag, let's see where these ABs go. So on our kit, what numbers are they? What symbols? What we got? What we got? One, two, three, four. I'm sorry. One, two, three. I got I got caught up in the moment there for a second. My bad. All right, so numbers one, two, and three are going to be our ABs for this kit. Y'all, I get too hyped doing these unboxing. So as you can see, again, I think they I think they're trying to show me up. Number three is outlining the mirror that she's in. Number two is in that stem of the rose. Let's see, what was the other color? Uh, number, number one. So I see number one and number two, or number three and number two. Let's see if we can find number one. Number one is going to be on the bust of Belle, Belle's bust. And on the neckline of her dress. So we got some number ones there. Do we have any on her arms? You know, Diamond Art Club always gives you 20% extra. So if you wanted to add your own extra ABs in there, you can add them in wherever you want to. They just give you suggestions. So, so I see on the bust and on her neckline there on her, her uh, dress. We got some number threes on the collarbone area. You got to highlight that collarbone area. Her contour is on fleek. I want to know who her designer is. I'm just saying. So there she is in all her glory. Do we have any number ones by her eyes? No, but you can add them if you want to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Number three is up there. Three is right there because we're still outlining that mirror. I'm going to put some AB666s up there. I'm telling you right now. Thank you, T-Mall. <laughs> and then we got some more number threes right there. So that is it for Belle. She's a beauty over at Diamond Art Club. Um, I don't think she's available anymore, to be honest. Um, I actually went looking for her last night because I could not, for the life of me, figure out what her name was. I know Mandy doesn't call them by their original names just because of, like, the copyright issues and she has some kind of contract with Disney, I believe, with doing something. I don't know. I don't get in her business. I have a degree in business and it's called Mine and My Own. So, yeah. Um, but... I know she doesn't call them by their original name, so I couldn't figure out what they had decided to name her. And then the beauty kept ringing in my brain and boom, there she was. But I do not believe, unfortunately, that she's available on the Diamond Art Club website anymore. If she is, I will try to link her. But again, if she's not linked, that means she's not available. Some of the Disney princesses were discontinued and then brought back for a short period of time because of so many people asking for them. And the original reason why they were taken away is because so many people complained that they didn't have a reason or a way to frame them. Now, for stuff like this, framing-wise, you can easily get, like, a poster board and tack it, like, down. Like, if you get one of those collapsible uh, poster boards or something or a big poster board and connect it together and then fold the ends around it, you can do a wrap canvas with plywood poster board you can do a stretch canvas they do have some companies that offer a uh, stretch canvas where you can tell them what sizes you want you can also take them to like joann's and michael's to have them uh custom framed if you want to it does cost a whole lot uh that's i don't have expertise in that i'm not that bougie um my paintings i i do get asked this a lot so i'm gonna i'm gonna debunk this right now Unless you guys request me to frame something, no diamond painting in my house is framed. Why? Because I'm lazy and I don't care. I'm in this to do the kits, not so much to create perfection or to have it beautifully framed to display in my house. Sometimes I just like doing the kits. So I don't frame all of the kits that I have. And when I complete them, if they are deemed worthy, they go up on the wall. If not, I have three boxes of diamond art clubs um, that I get when I get my shipments in. I literally will roll them up, drills out, and put them in the box. And they'll sit in there until I decide what to do with them. Or if I just, you know, decide to give them a get away as a gift or something, I usually collapse the boxes down so that they lay flat on the shelf. And then the other, the actual canvas itself gets put into a box until I figure out what to do with it. And again, like I said, in the coming year, we are going to be looking for a house to buy. So I'm hoping at the time a house with a hundred walls so I can hang all my kits on. Either way, I just want to say that because somebody, I, every, every day I get a question about how do I frame. And I'm like, unless you request it, I don't do it. But I have done quite a few framing videos, which I will link up there in the eye, whichever direction it decides to come down. 
Um, so yeah, check that eye out at the top of the page. There's going to be a lot of great videos in there, including how to work on bigger diamond paintings, how to section off your diamond painting, because we're working on these bigger kits. You don't want to burn yourself out. So Miss Coffee's tips to working on a bigger kit, section it off. Jeremy and Gigi's DB Diamond, I don't know what her name is nowadays. Cindy's Traveling Craft sister and Cindy's Traveling Craft and Jeremy had the great idea of sectioning off the diamond paintings. And so I did a video after asking Jeremy if it was okay to section off. So I'm also going to put that video up there. You want to section these off so that you don't get overwhelmed. And then after a couple of days of working on it, step back away from it. It's okay to take a break. Take a little break and then come back fresh after a couple of days and you're renewed so that you don't get burnt out. That's how a lot of diamond painters get burnt out. They try to rush through these bigger kits because they feel like they're in some kind of a competition. Don't put yourself on a time crunch. You're not in a competition. You finish at your own pace. Everybody works at their own pace. It doesn't matter how quick Billy Joe has decided to finish her quit her kit. You finish yours in your time frame. That's enough of me jibber jabbing. I gotta get the heck out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And I believe me, it's random. With that said, and I must bid you adieu. But not before mind you. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face in public. Oh, I'm sorry. I lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Oh, my God. And I now must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try. To be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys. <laughs>